Chesterfield County students are about to embark on summer days full of playing, swimming, and day camps, and in some cases, a little bit too much time in front of those devices. This usually means less time concerned with school subjects like reading, math, or problem solving. Oftentimes, this time away can lead to the summer slump, a term that has recently gotten a lot of attention. As educators and parents alike, we know that this learning loss, or slump, requires time and attention to address. To stay ahead of this slump and keep our students engaged, Chesterfield County Public Libraries, along with many members of the community, provide engaging learning opportunities for our students. Here with us today is Chesterfield County Public School Board Member Carrie Coiner and Chesterfield County Public Library uh, Assistant Director Carolyn Sears to discuss some opportunities and some ideas for the summer. Welcome. Thank you. Um, Carolyn, so the Public Library has a lot in store for our families over the summer. Can you talk a little bit about um, your, the thought behind that and the programs that are available? Sure. Uh, well, Public libraries, since the beginning of time, it seems, have had the summer reading program. Um, and we call it the summer learning program these days uh, because there's a lot more to it than just the reading. Uh, we have a system where we provide programming, we provide incentives, we invite families to come in um, and keep up that learning over the summer because it doesn't stop just when school ends. So uh, we have a program where uh, kids and their families can come to the library, can choose books, can set up their reading goal for the summer. Uh, and that's a self-directed goal, which is something that's been, that's different uh, this year and was that way last year compared to years past. And we find that's a lot easier for parents. They don't have to try to meet some quota or um, get onto a computer and log minutes. It's very self-directed. It can be driven by uh, the expectation of the school if there is a school goal, um, so parents can use that. Or they can chat with a librarian and figure out what a good goal might be for their child. And so they can set a goal together and then check in periodically throughout the summer. And uh, when the child reaches that goal, they get a prize. Um, there's also a way to earn prizes throughout the summer. There, um, there are things called weekly passes or gear passes. Uh, where if the child engages with a librarian or a staff member about what they're reading and what they're learning, they'll earn a pass. And all those passes go into a pool and at the end of the week, there'll be a drawing and there will be a prize awarded to that child that week. So there's different ways of earning prizes. There's different incentives. Um, there is, of course, also all of the fantastic programming that we're going to have. We really bump up the programming during the summer to make sure that everyone has an opportunity to participate. The programming is free. Uh, we try to have it during hours that are convenient for um, all different lifestyles. Um, it's for all ages. Uh, we have um, the Franklin Institute coming in to do some STEM programming. We've got the Metro Richmond Zoo coming in to talk about uh, African safari. Um, we're also going to have VDOT coming in to talk about bridge building because the theme this year is actually about uh, engineering. So That sounds really kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Wow. it's going to be real hands-on, interactive, so it's making learning fun. Um, so, and as I said, it's not just about the reading, it's about the learning. So um, we hope that everyone's going to come in and participate this year. Well, that does sound like a good time. And Carrie, there are a lot of resources available in the community and uh, really focused on kind of connecting kids to books. Can you talk a little bit about those? Sure. So there are some great opportunities in the community. Um, throughout the community, you may see um, nonprofits, organizations, churches, or even neighborhood leaders. Um, keeping little libraries within neighborhoods um, stocked over the summer. Uh, we had a big initiative a few years ago to have little libraries installed in many of our um, neighborhoods that are in need of usually some extra assistance in reading over the summer. And so if you see any of those around town, you're welcome to add books to them or borrow them and return them later. Uh, we also have a really great program that's been funded through the Chesterfield Education Foundation um, Chesterfield Star, Summertime Access to Reading. And with that, folks who'd like to donate funds to the Chesterfield Education Foundation, that money goes to purchasing books. And over the summer, uh, our Title I elementary schools identify students who are most at risk of perhaps summer slide or summer slump. And those students receive what we like to think of as um, mini vacations or um, mini opportunities over the summer to get a prize in the mail. And so those books, the students 
are they end up as surprises, but they're selected and mailed to the member the summer, and it's really exciting. Always some notes in them from principals or teachers, encouraging the kids to read and keeping them excited. And every few weeks over the summer, those are delivered to students. And so it's our way of connecting kids back to their school community and for our students who maybe aren't able to take as many vacations or to travel while parents are working during the day to museums and things, we're bringing a little of that to them in their homes because we know how important having your own home library is. While we're visiting our public libraries is a great opportunity and so important, we know the impact of owning your own books and having your own library within your house is also important as well. So if I wanted to get involved more with that or contribute to that, I just would um, contact the Education Foundation? Or? Yes, you can contact the Chesterfield Education Foundation. You can also contact the school board clerk at 748-1497 and they'll make sure that they get you connected with the appropriate staff if you'd like to volunteer at a little library location over the summer. Wonderful. And if I want to find out more about those programs going on at the public library, mm -hmm. just visit the website or? Yep, you can visit the website library.chesterfield.gov uh, or you can subscribe to our programming newsletter um, at that website. You can also pick up a newsletter in the library. It has everything that's going on, um, all of the events, all of the programmings, information about the summer food program, um, our author appearances that are happening. Um, so that's basically one-stop shop for your information. And, and we're so fortunate to have so many just resources out in our community and programs, but just as a parent at home, is there anything that I can do to keep my child more connected to learning and their brain from slumping, I guess? In our house, um, we'll read, oftentimes I'll read the same books as my kids over the summer. So um, we'll both read the same book, that way we can talk about what's going on and characters. Um, sometimes if we're planning on visiting somewhere over the summer, I'll try to find books that are either um, set in that area or themed around that area. Um, and sometimes with summer movies coming out, it's really easy to find books with good movies that are coming out and we can do a compare and contrast, which was better. So we try to find fun ways to pick books that somehow connect to our summer, are enjoyable as a family that we can talk about. And we spend a lot of time um, you know, as we travel, sitting around and reading together as a family. And you, Carolyn, any thoughts on yeah. that too? Those, those are great ideas. Um, I know with my daughter, my daughter has never been a big reader, you know, and I'm a librarian, so <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's very personal for me. Um, <laughs> but I do everything I can to encourage her. Uh, that what's worked for me is to just be really in tune with what is actually interesting her now and try and find ways to link books to that, um, whether it's the format, she, she's really into art, so lots of graphic novels, or whether it's the subject, she's really into history right now, so we'll do a lot of nonfiction. So just tapping into what she's, she's really enjoying at the moment seems to work. Oh, it's certainly, it's, it's exciting for me. We've gone past just the days of keeping that log mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and just kind of tracking your minutes. So thank you so much for both coming in, and thank you for all you do um, in our community to support reading and learning, um, and thank you for joining us on Engage Chesterfield. Thank you.